Hello, this is Uncle Jim, and this is part three of My Son Does It Again and A Brother from Another Color. All right, so in part one, he picked up that little Smith & Wesson, which I've been looking forever for, and when he was there, he was kicking himself because this was on the sale table, and he's kicking himself for not buying it, doing the same paperwork, you know, put it on there, bring it home. So he tells me about it, and I said, you should have got that. So last night, he calls the guy in, uh, at the ATV shop, and he says, hey, can you hold this for me until uh, I can pick it up in the morning? And the guy said, sure, I'll put your name on it. Now, during that time, another guy wanted to buy this, but it was too late. He, he kept to his word and put my son's name on it, trusting that he would show up. And of course he did because we have it now. So he picked this up this morning. <clears throat> and this is a 590 Mariner. So these were designed for being on fishing boats, whatever. It's got a nickel finish on here, matte nickel, and it's tatered, but that's just how we like it, and the price was right. So, <clears throat> I'm really happy he brought this home because he got this one at the pawn shop where he got the Red Hawk on part two, both Red Hawks. And he got this one for 180 bucks, and this is a 500, and this is a 590 Mariner. And unlike my 590, I have a 590 with the peep sights and the heavy barrel and the bayonet lug, but I think that's just a little too heavy. This is my favorite right here. And now we brought home the Mariner version of this even though it's a 590, it's lighter. And we weighed these two together and this is only a couple ounces heavier than this one. And this is my favorite. We shot this in videos. I just point it, boom, it shoots slugs right where I aim it. Double aught buck, four aught buck. I just prefer this for its lightness. <clears throat> so now we have a 590 Mariner. Now, it's a little more tatered than I thought it would be. He just took a quick glance at it while he was buying the little Smith & Wesson. But we love it, and we love the idea of not having to worry about it. It's scratched up, and what's really weird about this is it has stickers. It used to have stickers on here. Uh, on the barrel and on both sides, it's still sticky. We haven't done nothing to it. There's dirt on the stock. It's really dry, but the inside of the receiver is beautiful and the bolt and everything. So I don't know if it was used much or just sitting on a boat. I think it was on a boat because right here, there's a little rust, uh, you know, coming through the nickel. And on the other side of the barrel, there's some rust. And I do have some gun coat in a brush stainless. Um, but I don't think that's not going to match nickel perfectly. And I think we're going to just leave it for now. But as far as the barrel goes, this is all one piece. We could be blast it and I could shoot it and bake it. But I think we're going to leave it the way it is. We just love a chuck around shotgun like this one. This is my favorite. And it's got dings and stuff and wear and it's so smooth. Another thing is the trigger is awesome. It's got a good trigger, just like this one. This one's a little better. It's stock. It hasn't been messed with. And the bore is bright and shiny, and so is the uh, magazine tube. I checked those out. And even the magazine spring is nickel-coated and the follower. So a Mariner, I know, goes for a lot more money. He got this for 180 at the pawn shop where he got the Red Hawks that was in part two. 
And he had to go back to the ATV shop for this one. And I agreed. Maybe I was the instigator because I love this one. My 590 is too heavy. This one is perfect. It has the same barrel. They have the same sights. They have the same stock. Everything is the same. So, for a few dollars more than this one, which was 180 he got this one. And we don't care about all uh, being all messed up and stuff. Inside is beautiful. So we like a check around shotgun. And I think we're going to leave it for now. But we do have the option. I could do a nickel gun coat, whatever, later. So it's kind of weird that this is a 590, but it's very similar to this 500. Unlike mine, which is a lot heavier, heavier barrel, all that. <clears throat> so I think the only difference is this end cap weighs a, a couple ounces more when we weighed them. And this is exactly what I love right here. So there you go. Two brothers from a different color. And we're going to have to shoot this. I'm, I'm going to take it all apart and clean it and all that stuff. Um, but it looks like we're good to go, and I'm glad he went back for this one. So he picked that one up in the morning, and uh, now we're done for a while, I hope. <laughs> Unless we find another brother of another color from something we already have. It's missing the uh, sling swivel right here, which is also nickel. And I really think this came off of a boat because we don't get rust around here. And there's some uh, little rust marks showing through on the barrel and right here, but that's all one piece. Let me know what you think about these stickers. There's stickers everywhere. And I think it was sitting on a boat and they had warning, loaded firearm, blah, 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 or something like that. And we're not by the ocean, so that's that's weird in itself. But this ATV shop always has uh, unusual guns, and uh, we got to drop by there more often because they have good deals, good service. And he held it for my boy, even though someone else wanted to buy it right now. <coughs> so I guess that's it. Um, We'll do some testing in the future and let me know what you think. I would rather have it just like this, kind of like Georgia Boys uh, prison shotgun. I like it. And I like this one too with the wear. Don't try and make it look good. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. All right, I guess that's it. Did I leave anything else? Uh, no. These two are almost identical, even though that's a 500 and this is a 590. It's nothing like my 590, like I said, which is much heavier. And I prefer the maneuverability of these. They both hold 8 plus 1. And hopefully this one shoots like this one, because it's one of those cruise control guns. You point, boom, it hits where you aimed. All right. And it's nice to have an extra for an extra room in the house. Until company comes over, you put them away. But you never know. And I really like uh, the Mossbergs. I'm a, I converted over to Mossbergs. I just like them. So tell me what you think. And what do you think about all these sticker markings? What the hell? And should we fix it later? Finish it later? That's always an option, but I think we're going to leave it like this for now, just like this one. You know, I can always spend a couple hours and make them look beautiful again and coat them and rust resistant, all that stuff. But why? It's a perfect check around shotgun. All right. Until next time, thanks for watching.